Hi friends, MD Vegan. I made cauliflower rice today, a very simple recipe with sweet peas and radishes. Came to my mind all of a sudden, let's see if it works. First I make the cauliflower rice <coughs> and I have, all, I have no dressing today, just the sweet peas and the, and the radishes. So <coughs> I will refine the cauliflower rice a little bit. I have a small head, half of it only and the florets. I cut out this trunk in the middle and just have the florets with a little bit of strung here. That's okay, or, you know, not too much. So here's the food processor fitted with the S-plate. This is the best tool to make cauliflower rice, <clears throat> very easy. If you don't have a food processor, you can uh, take a cutting board and a chef's knife and also make a similar texture. But now this wonderful tool makes it very easy. It's just in seconds. I will show you. Um, and as I want to refine, because no dressing, I just take a one or two tablespoons of olive oil. See, that's a handmade olive oil. Olive oil is uh, not to recommend uh, for regular use because it's pure, almost pure fat. Any kind of oil is almost pure fat. So you, we should use it scarcely, yeah? just to refine a little bit the flavor and the texture. Yeah, not as a main nutrient. It's pure fat and that um, is not so good for the system. Yeah? Uh, you need all the ingredients of a whole fruit. This is more, this is better, yeah, recommended for many, many reasons. And I have a half teaspoon of Himalayan salt, pink salt, only half a teaspoon. I sprinkle it on top of the florets here, just evenly. Um, when I make only cauliflower rice um, with um, refinement, I take usually very little salt, even more, less than today. But today I have a little bit more because I want to, uh, the radishes, they love the salt and the sweet peas are okay with it too. So a little bit more salt today, but no more than half a teaspoon for half a small head. So now in two seconds, I'm ready. That's it. No longer. You see, this is a rice texture. Very nice. And the cauliflower, cauliflower tastes by itself it can be a little bit a strong flavor. It's a uh, cabbage, yeah? kind of cabbage, and they have this kind of flavor. Um, you know, and um, a little bit of salt and olive oil also uh, helps with this. Um, so, very, very little. And then we have this wonderful rice-like texture, and it's a it's a very healthy food, cauliflower. It can be used daily, like really like um, potatoes when you cook them. Yeah, and many people eat cake and potatoes in Germany, one of our staples here. But you can replace it with cauliflower, raw cauliflower. It's really super healthy. Um, you can't get wrong with it. You can eat it every day and after cauliflower, raw cauliflower especially, I don't, don't feel any food cravings. It's amazing. And then now I have here small quantities uh, of sweet peas. These have been frozen. I thawed them, of course. And this is a, a similar amount of um, radishes, just into small pieces. So they, um, there's a little bit matching the other sizes here of the ingredients. That is also nice because when you have a combination of um, the cauliflower rice is uh, usually uh, um, very much about texture. And then the similar textures, they make it nicer and then you have more of an illusion. You don't um, pay so much attention to that is cauliflower. No, you, you have a little bit uh, reminded of the, the rice more. Yeah. So I taste it now. I'm curious if it's really good. Mmm, 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 wonderful, really nice, so nice. <clears throat> this is such an easy dish. If you make more of it, you can have it um, as a full meal. Yeah, that is a nice idea. Yeah, and um, feel free to to improvise to let you be inspired. And if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube. Then you will have another recipe every single day. 
And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.